The graph of a parabola consists of five important parts. The first part is the orientation. The orientation. The orientation gives you the direction in which the parabola opens. So a parabola can open up. So it can open up like that. It can open down. It can open left. And it can also open right. The second part is the vertex. The vertex. And so the vertex gives you the location of the parabola, where the parabola is located in the partition plane. Okay, so this gives you the location. Okay. The third part is the lattice rectum. This gives you the width of the parabola, how wide the parabola is going to be. Right? So this gives you the width of the parabola. Now the fourth part, the fourth and the fifth parts are the focus and the equation of the directrix. Okay? Now these two things came from the definition of the parabola, so we need to include them in our graph. So this came from the definition. Alright, so once we know all these parts, we can then start to graph the parabola. Let's say we have the equation x minus 2 squared equals 4 times y minus 2. Let's graph this equation. Okay, so the first thing that we want to know is the orientation of the graph of this equation. Okay, so first let's draw a partition plane. Again, the first thing that we want to know is the orientation of the graph. The orientation is determined by two things. First, you look at the variable that is being squared. If the variable that is being squared is x, then the orientation is up or down. If the variable that is being squared is y, then the orientation is left or right. Now, as you can see in this equation, the variable that is being squared is x. Okay? So this is x and this is squared. So the variable that is being squared is x. If you look at y, y doesn't have a squared. So it's x that is being squared. And so, therefore, the parabola opens up or down. Okay, so in this case, the parabola opens up or down. So let's erase these two possibilities. Okay. Now, we have to narrow it down to only one possibility. So how do we know which one? Up or down? To know that, look at the number outside the parenthesis on the right-hand side of the equation. So it's this number that you need to look into. Okay, that number outside the parenthesis uh, at the right hand side of the equation. If that number is positive, then the parabola opens upwards. If that number is negative, the parabola opens downwards. Observe that the number is positive. Thus, the parabola opens upwards. So we can now get rid of this possibility right here. So we know that the orientation of the parabola is facing upwards. Next, we want to locate the position of the parabola using its vertex. Now, recall that the standard form of a parabola is either the standard form of a parabola is either x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k or y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. In both cases, the vertex is in both cases, the vertex is h comma k. So in this example, the vertex is 2 comma 2, because this is your h and that's your k. So the vertex is 2 comma 2. Okay, uh, let me write that down here. So the vertex is 2 comma 2. Now, the next thing that we want to know is how wide the parabola is going to be. So let's find the lattice rectum. The lattice rectum is that number outside the parenthesis in the right-hand side of the equation. So if you remember, we identified this number 
when we look at the orientation of the parabola. It turns out that we're going to go back to that number when we find the lattice rectum. In fact, that number is the lattice rectum. Okay, so the, the width of the parabola is four. Okay, where did we get this number? It's this number outside the parenthesis in the right hand side of the equation. That's the lattice rectum. Next is the focus. The focus is determined by the P in the standard forms. If you look at these standard forms, you'll see there's a, there's, there's a parameter P beside 4. That P gives you the focus. It's not the focus because the focus is a point on the Cartesian plane, but the P is what determines the focus. And it depends on the orientation. So if the orientation of the parabola is up or down, okay, so if it's up or down, then the focus is, again, it's a point, so it's um, H comma K plus P. Okay, that's the focus. If the orientation is left or right, then the focus would be H plus P comma K. Now, the question is, how do we solve for, for P? So to solve for P, we are just going to equate this number right here outside the parenthesis with this number right here, which is also outside the parenthesis in our standard form. So if we equate 4P, so let's, so 4P equals 4, that gives you P equals 1. So that's how to solve for P. To solve for P, you equate this value to this value right here, and then you can solve for P. Now P could be positive or negative. So in this case, since we know that the orientation of our parabola is up or down, then we're going to use this formula right here that the focus is h comma k plus p. So that gives us that gives us equals what's what's our h? Our h is two. Our k is two and our p is one. So that gives us that gives us two comma three. That's that's our focus. Okay, now the last thing that we want to know is the directrix. Now, just like the focus, the directrix also depends on the orientation of the parabola. But unlike the focus, the directrix is actually a line. Okay? So, the directrix is the following. So, if it's up or down, then the directrix is y equals k minus p. If it's left or right, the directrix is x equals h minus p. Now, since we know that this parabola is oriented upwards, then we're going to use this formula right here, y equals k minus p, and that gives us y equals k is 2, p is, p is 1, 2 minus 1, and so that gives us the equation of the directrix y equals 1. So that's the directrix of the parabola. We are now ready to graph the parabola. Okay, so the first thing in graphing a parabola, the first thing that you want to look at is the vertex, okay, because that gives us the location of the parabola. So in graphing, this is going to go first. So we're going to locate the vertex. The vertex is 2, 2, and that is here. So this is 1, 2, 1, 2. The vertex is there. Okay, now the second thing that we want to look at is the focus. Okay, focus. The focus is 2, comma 3. So that gives us 2. So this is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. The focus is here. I'm just going to mark it F to denote that it's the focus. And also this one is V, the vertex. Okay, now the third thing that I want to, that we need to consider is the lattice rectum. The lattice rectum gives you the width of the parabola. Now since the lattice rectum is 4, then the width of the parabola is 4, and that lattice rectum passes through the focus, so we're going to divide the lattice rectum by 2, so 4 divided by 2 is 2, so from the focus you move 2 units left or right, because you're, you know that the parabola opens upwards, so the width would be going left and right. Okay, so from the focus, you count two units, so that's one and two, one and two, and so we are now ready to graph our parabola. So you can just approximate the form, okay, to make sure that the parabola passes through 
the points in the lattice rectum and the vertex. Okay, so that is approximately the parabola that uh, is being described by the equation. Now, there's one more thing that we forgot, and that's the directrix. So the directrix is y equals one. Okay, so where is y equals one? Y equals one is y equals one is a line. So this is one. So that will be this line, and that is the directrix. So that's it. That's how you graph a parabola on the Cartesian plane.